In this tutorial, I am going to discuss a problem to find triplet with given sum in an array. So the problem statement is given an array of unsorted integers and a value k. Write a code to determine whether or not there exist three elements in an array whose sum is exactly k. So uh, let's see the example. So if you see uh, the unsorted array and we have to find the triplet whose sum is equal to 13. So you can see uh, there exists a triplet 1, 4 and 8 whose sum is equal to 13. So we return true. And let's see the second example. And this array is unsorted and we have to find a triplet whose sum is equal to 6. So there are multiple triplet exist in an array whose sum is equal to 6 so uh, we have returned true here so this is the problem statement and let's think how we can solve this problem the first approach is the brute force approach in which three loops are used to check whether exist a triplet whose sum is equal to k so you can see the three four loops the first i will go from zero and the terminating condition is i is less than array length minus two the second condition the second loop is i equal to j uh, so j equal to i plus one and its terminating condition is array length minus one and the k will start from j plus one and its terminating condition is h is less than the array length so you can visualize this approach so suppose the value of i start from 0 so the j will start from i plus 1 and k will start from j plus 1 so for from this point so the k is the inner loop so it will run uh, so first initially it will start from this position then it goes to this then this then this the first iteration is done then from next iteration the k will start from this position and it goes like this and then from this then from this when all the elements are traversed then in next iteration the value of j will start from this and k will start from this so this uh, in this way we find all the combination and in between if we find if we found the triplet so whose sum is equal to k then we return true and we exit so in worst case this approach using this approach the time complexity is o n cube and their space complexity is constant which is o1 so you can see the time complexity of this approach so can we do better than that can we improve this time complexity yes we definitely improve the time complexity we can solve this problem lesser than this time complexity so let's see our next approach this is our second approach and in this approach what we do is we first sort this array and after sorting an array the element of an array is arranged like this in sorted order and then we traverse an array and we find whether there exists a triplet whose sum is equal to k so let's see we start an array uh, we start traversing an array from this point so i then we if you see uh, this code then what we have done here is we take two pointer start will point at this index and end will point to this index and then we run a loop while start is less than and and we check the combinations here so if if the i start and end the value of this index this index and this index is equal to uh, the value of k or you can say the sum then we have found our triplet we return true else if the sum is less than the value of k then we increment this index 
else we decrement this index so let's uh, dry run this code so the value at i index is 1 and the value at start index is 4 and here it's 45 so if you sum them then it's 50 which is greater than the sum uh, 30 so what we do is we decrement this end index and we reach with at this point then we do the sum so 1 plus 4 plus 10 so it is 15 it is still greater than this value sum 13 so we again decrement the end index and we reach at this position and if you see this time so 8 plus 4 it is 12 and now uh, plus 1 it is 13 so we found the sum and we return true so we uh, we have found our triplet and we exit from this position so using this approach the time complexity is o n square so exactly it is o n log n for sorting and o n square for running this two loops so but and if you see so it is now o n square as o n square so we ignore this value and we consider this so it is o n square and again the space complexity is constant here so our previous the time complexity of our previous approach is o n cube now it's o n square so it's better than our previous approach so this is how this method works and now let's see the main method in which i have declared an array and the value of sum then i'm calling this method find triplet and if the result is true then it print exist else it not exist and if i run this code you can see the output it exists the triplet sum as exist so uh, and there uh, there is one more method using hashing you can also solve this problem so let's try to solve yourself and if you uh, face any difficulty you can ask me through comment section or you can share your code in in the comment section so uh, that's it for this video for more such programming tutorial you can subscribe our youtube channel you can visit our website which is https colon slash slash thanks for watching this video